Welcome to EPG Patshala. Dear students, in today's module, we are going to discuss about environmental implications of energy use. Energy is the driver of life. Energy has been used by man since the discovery of fire, be it be for heat, light or cooking. Energy may be derived from natural flows of air, water, radiation, waves, etc. or through mind sources. Through the ages, the use of energy increased as human population increased and society developed. And the impacts of its use became evident as it impacted soil, water, biodiversity and the global warming. Though all the energy sources have some impact on our environment, renewable energy is the new trend that claimed to be eco-friendly. Fossil fuels or the non-renewable energy sources such as coal, oil and natural gas do considerably more harm than these renewable energy sources. Though the actual nature of the environmental impacts will depend on the several factors including the fuel use and how and where it was used, etc. The rapid advancement in technology has given the world a future to look forward to which is more dependent on the more environmentally safe renewable energy sources. In this module, we are going to discuss about the fuels which are the major energy contributors. What are the negative effects of the production of different forms of energy? What are the effects of the thermal power plants? And why this firewood is considered as a bad source of energy? And we will also see the global warming with respect to energy. In this slide, you can see the trend of energy use in the world. Here, the fossil fuel, the oil, coal and gas have been and still remain the major energy providers. It constitutes more than 80% of the total energy use. Among the renewables, the other sources except hydro and nuclear power have come up in the recent years. Now we will see what are the environmental issues associated with different energy sources. The impact of energy use on the environment in general ranges from the diversion of land, pollution during the construction of power plants, impacts of mining for fossil fuels, deforestation, ecological influences due to changes in natural flow of river due to dams, de danger to the marine and avian fauna, climate change, etc. The first one is the burning of firewood and biomass. Firewood is one of the oldest source of energy to this mankind, but its burning causes several issues. In global terms, the now in global terms, now wood fuel represents about 7% of the world's total primary energy consumption. But wood is not a clean burning source and hence leads to more pollutants being released into the air. Further, the requirement for wood comes not only from this sector but from industries as well, like paper and construction. The increasing competition results in the unsustainable harvesting of wood risking the existing forest and in turn the ecological systems dependent on these forests, causing loss of biodiversity, increased soil erosion. Biomass burning account significantly to global emissions contributing as much as 40% of the gross carbon dioxide and 38% of tropospheric ozone. Apart from this, 1.4 million tons of methane emission are also reported from the burning of traditional biomass fuels. The biofuel is solid, liquid or gaseous fuel that obtained from this biological material. The increased crop production for the biofuel will require the use of more herbicide, pesticide and fertilizer that can be leached or reach surface water bodies, leading to other environmental issues like eutrophication and can affect aquatic biodiversity. Further, the negative implications on biodiversity due to its habitat conversion and loss, agricultural intensification, the spread of invasive species and pollution. The second issue is the depletion of fossil fuel. Coal, crude oil and natural gas constitute the fossil fuels which currently contribute 28.6%, 31.3% and 21.2% of the global primary energy. At the present rate of energy use, the equivalent of over 11 billion tons of oil in fossil fuel is consumed worldwide per annum. But these energy sources are not everlasting. Studies have predicted the depletion times for the coal, oil and natural gas are approximately 107 years, 35 years and 37 years respectively at the current level of the production. 
On the other hand, these fossil fuels are also the major contributors towards the pollution, the greenhouse gas emissions and other environmental problems. There are several hidden causes for using the fossil fuel, some which are easily observable including the pollution while others indirect like global warming or increasing the diseases in human beings. Every step of the fuel production, supply and use has some environmental cost, ranging from the water and the air pollution and the land degradation at mining stage to the air pollution, risk of spills during transport and emission of the toxic pollutants, particulate matter and greenhouse gas emission during this combustion. The third important environmental issue is the land degradation. Extraction of fossil fuel involves mining and drilling which can be very unsafe and damage the topography causing damage to the land area and destruction of wildlands. The mining changes the ecology of the entire land area which may also include forests with their flora and fauna destroying habitats and affecting biodiversity. Noise and habitat fragmentation can harm, noise and habitat fragmentation can harm wildlife population. A form of surface mining which is known as mountain top removal, it involves stripping all the trees and other vegetation from the hills followed by removal of earth over large depth using explosives, rendering this area degraded and prone to erosion. Mines can subsequently collapse or the land may subside. That affects surface and subsurface water flows. The mine fires as well as acid mine drainage from the coal mines cause environmental problems on the long term. Also, the construction of large oil and gas pipelines and the roads for SS adds to the deforestation and the degradation process. Another important environmental issue related with energy sector is pollution. The huge amount of rock and debris from mining destroys the soil fertility and it can also pollute and change course of natural water flows. The coal deposit leachate can pollute ground and surface water and the soil with toxic chemicals like selenium, arsenic, lead, iron and hydrogen sulphide depending on its chemical makeup. Natural gas leaks from transmission pipelines is a significant source of methane emission. Mining and drilling for the fossil fuel bring up materials buried deep in the ground and create huge amounts of waste material. The burning of fossil fuel in the vehicle Thermal power plants or the factories releases carbon dioxide, nitrogen and sulfur oxides, carbon monoxide, unburned hydrocarbons, particulates, etc. that lower the air quality. Nitrogen oxides released into the atmosphere contribute to the formation of smoke and the acid rain. Coal based power plants are a large source of mercury emissions. As this airborne mercury settles, it may be washed into water bodies and can get accumulated and move along the food chain. Cleaning and processing of coal also leaves behind waste which is rich in sulphur and heavy metals, while fly ash emitted during combustion also pollutes the surrounding land, crop and water. Coal based power plants are known to have higher carbon dioxide emission and other pollutants per kilowatt hour electricity generation. Thermal power plants are also responsible for causing thermal pollution. They obtain large quantity of water from surface and groundwater bodies that is later discharged at high temperatures directly impacting the local ecosystems and often competing with other uses such as agriculture. The oil is transported across the ocean in tankers and over the land by the pipeline, rail or the truck. In each step, it poses risk of oil spills. The Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989 in Alaska, it is considered to be one of the most devastating human caused environmental disaster. It killed innumerable seabirds, marine animals and the fishes. Another issue related with energy consumption is acid rain. Acid rain is formed when sulphur and nitrogen oxides in air mix with water, oxygen and other chemicals leading to acidic precipitation. The another feature of acid rain is it need not affect the polluted area but can be transported over long distances. Such precipitation is injurious to aquatic organism by increasing the acidity of the water body. It can also damage trees and weaken the forest ecosystem. The acid rain can also lead to destruction of monuments made up of, specially made up of the marble. Even the crops are affected adversely directly or indirectly. 
since the lowering of soil pH leads to leaching of plant nutrients away from the plant surroundings, making it unavailable to the plants. The next important issue is the global warming and climate change. Global warming refers to gradual increase in the average temperature of Earth's atmosphere due to accumulation of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, water vapor, chlorofluorocarbons. The energy use is a major contributor to the greenhouse gas emission that is shown in this figure. You can see in this figure the contribution from the energy usage to the global anthropogenic greenhouse gas emission is around 68%. According to IPCC assessment report, the burning of fossil fuel is started at the beginning of the industrial revolution has increased the heat trapping greenhouse gas contents in the atmosphere and it represents the largest anthropogenic contribution to the climate change. Within the energy sector, carbon dioxide emitted from combustion of fuel dominates the total greenhouse gas emissions. It is one of the greenhouse gases that enhances radiative forcing and contributes to global warming. It causes increase in the average surface temperature. The amount of carbon dioxide emitted per unit of energy output or heat content for the various fuel is given in this table. In this table you can see the various sources and the carbon dioxide emitted. You can see the emission, carbon dioxide emission by the coal, especially the anthracite is higher, it is around 228 pounds per million BTU compared to natural gas having 117, carbon 117 pounds per million BTU carbon dioxide emission. Natural gas constituted mainly by the methane is a more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide when released into the atmosphere because methane is 21 times higher global warming potential than that of carbon dioxide. Oil drilling also produces methane. Although it can be captured and used as an energy source, the gas is often either released that is greatly contribute to atmospheric greenhouse gas or burned that is lesser impact due to its conversion to CO2. According to World Bank estimates, 5.3 trillion cubic feet of natural gas is burned per year annually from drilling sites creating 400 million tons of carbon dioxide emission. Compared to fossil fuel, renewable energy sources produce lesser carbon dioxide emission. According to a study, the hydroelectricity produces the lowest carbon dioxide emission, wind produces the second lowest, nuclear energy produces the third lowest and solar photovoltaics produces the fourth lowest emissions. What are the environmental impact of hydropower? The environmental impact of reservoir is coming under the scrutiny as the number of dams increase to meet the ever increasing demand of energy. The construction of reservoir led to flooding of surrounding areas, complete modification of terrestrial habitats and ecology and the displacement of large number of people. Dams can alter the course and flow of rivers. They obstruct fish migration and spawning affecting their population. The operation of hydroelectric power plant may also change the water temperature and the rivers flow, harming the native plants and the animals. Decay of the organic matter that ends up in the dams can release large amount of greenhouse gases, mainly the methane into atmosphere, endangering the eco-friendly status of hydropower. The life cycle carbon dioxide equivalent values from some electricity supply technologies is provided in this table. You can see the, the life cycle carbon dioxide equivalent from the hydrocarbon is 24, while from biomass is 230 gram carbon dioxide equivalent per kilowatt hour electricity production. And nuclear has less emission, that is 12. Nuclear and wind, hydropower, solar, compared to biomass, it has less carbon dioxide emission per kilowatt hour electricity production. The environmental impact of nuclear power. The environmental impact of nuclear power comes from the fuel production, operation, disposal problems, and risk of accidents. However, nuclear energy considered cleaner source energy producing no greenhouse gas emissions or air pollutant emission. The accidental exposure to radiation can cause damage to humans and the animals. There are several cases of nuclear accidents that led to release of huge amount of radioactive products into the environment, thus contaminating the environment. It is estimated that more than 100 serious nuclear accidents have been occurred since 2014. 
risk is also posed by the nuclear waste which need proper precaution and careful disposal to avoid the contamination. The contaminant and the isolation of radioactive waste such as pen nuclear fuel is, in, is must to avoid risk to the human being and environment for thousands of years. Most commercial nuclear power plants also release some gaseous and liquid radiological effluents into the environment as a byproduct. Some major nuclear incidents are given in this table. They are Three Mile Island Accident, Chernobyl Disaster, Fukushima Nuclear Power Plant Disaster, which occurred in 2011 in Japan. Another factor that hampers nuclear energy production is the requirement for huge quantities of water which not only get heated up during the process of power generation that cause thermal pollution, but also lead to death and destruction of several aquatic organisms that get sucked into the cooling system along with water. Rising temperature of the water body reduces the oxygen content which also kills aquatic animals. The environmental impact of wind power. According to IPCC, wind energy production has been among the lowest global warming potential per unit of electrical energy generated. It is emitting only 11 to 12 gram carbon dioxide equivalent per kilowatt hour and also very minor impacts as compared to other energy sources. However, the other implications include the need for the large areas of land and noise pollution. There are reports of avian mortality as the wind turbines heat the birds. The proper site selection of these windmills and taking of proper technological precaution has been assumed to reduce such impacts. The aesthetic aspects of wind turbines and changes of the visual landscape are significant in this scenic and protected landscapes. Similarly, the clearing of forest can significantly impact wildlife and avian population by altering the microclimate, habitat fragmentation and destruction. What are the environmental impact of solar power? Though it is a source for clean, everlasting and eco-friendly energy source, this solar power is also associated with some environmental impacts. The large land area required for setting up a solar farm is of major concern as it cannot be combined with agriculture or other uses. The production of 1 megawatt electricity requires 3.5 to 16 acres of area depending upon what technology we are using. Also, the manufacturing of photovoltaic cells includes several hazardous materials and chemicals that can cause environmental problems if not handled properly. Greenhouse gas emission occurs at manufacturing, transportation, installation, maintenance and dismantlement stages. The microclimatic modification due to establishment of solar panels on land area also affects sensitive ecosystem. So, to conclude, in spite of the numerous problems associated with the harnessing and utilization of energy, it is important that total energy use the globally increase to meet needs of the developing economy. This necessitates the need for solutions to the short term and long term implications to the environment. Creation of awareness among the people about the renewable and non-polluting energy sources and the energy management has to be done starting from the children. There is a need for the conservation of energy and value of conservation of environment need to be installed in the children. The energy conservation need to be achieved through energy efficient use along with the decreased energy consumption from conventional energy sources. It can be practiced at individual level as well as community levels. The alternates or the renewable energy need to be employed and promoted on large scale along with the measures for controlling pollution from the fossil fuel will help in the sustainability attainment. In this module we have seen the trend in energy use in the world, what are the negative effects of the production of different forms of energy. We have seen the environmental impacts of the energy use like burning of firewood and biomass, depletion of fossil fuel, land degradation, pollution, global warming and climate change, acid rain and we have also seen the environmental impacts of hydropower, wind power and solar energy. Thank you.